What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to overland on a budget. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you what you need and pretty much the price to do it and how to install this on the bed of your truck. All right, so if you guys are on a budget and you guys wanna do that overlanding type stuff and right now you guys are barely starting out and you don't have the money to buy maybe a rooftop tent, I'm gonna show you a budget way to do it. So this right here is pretty much from right line. They do have the five foot or the six foot bed depending on what truck you have. They also make it for many other vehicles so you can check them out in the description box below if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set this up and pretty much how it looks in the end but this is literally under 200 bucks so super cheap and sometimes they have sales. Alright so next thing you're gonna to need to pick up of course is an air mattress and the cool thing about this is it's gonna fit in the bed of your truck and another cool thing it comes with its own air pump so there's no need of you to go ahead and purchase a one separately and it also comes with a built-in pillow which I'm probably not gonna use I'm gonna use my own pillow but it's there if you need it so let's go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you how to set it up inside is pretty much everything you're gonna need so it does come with patches so if you ever end up tearing it or something here's the patches it comes with the travel bag to be able to put this in so you don't have to be carrying that box around all right, so here's the mattress. I'm gonna go ahead and blow it up and show you how. But here's the air pump right here. And it's cool because it has two features, one to deflate and one to inflate. So of course, on the Tacomas, you already have an outlet right there on the bed of the truck. So you're gonna need to uh, turn on your vehicle and pretty much set it to turn that on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the truck now. So like I said, you need to turn on the bed of the truck uh, power outlets. So let's go ahead and turn them on. So they're on now, they'd be right here. So let's go ahead and get to the bed of the truck. Eee! We're traveling with Joe Rizzo. Travel, travel. <laughs> All right, so inside, you're gonna notice the power cord. Let's go ahead and plug it in and show you what it's made of. <laughs> Watch I get electrocuted. All right, so let's go ahead and inflate. All right, so like I explained, inflate, deflate. Go ahead and inflate it. <laughs> so go ahead and check their website out, uh, but this is for the five foot bed, so let's go ahead and open it. Two wheel drive all day. Damn. All right, so I'm gonna have my friend Chris explain how to set up the, the truck bed tent because- Because Jesse be Rizzo didn't know how to. I'll be honest, I really don't know how to, and he's already running this on his truck, so he's more experienced on this, so he's gonna explain how. He's and then you lick it, and then you just let it roll out. Ooh. And oh, there's our yeah. hardware. <laughs> this is your rain fly. We're out here in the desert, pretty much clear skies. We don't need this. Clear shit. skies, he says. Partly cloudy. <laughs> in my weather forecast. <laughs> when you're unfolding the tent, just be careful about these clips. If you don't want to damage your paint or any of that. But just drape them over the sides. After you orient it, basically finding out which side is the front and which side is the back. What I like to do is pull this over, leave that little lip right there, and right under the bed, you get this first clip and clip it down, leave this a little loose, 
Don't want to tighten everything down just yet until it's all, all the pegs are installed. Just draping everything in there. Oops. Pull these over, pull this strap over under the tailgate. Now let me loosen it a little more. Pull this under the tailgate, one side at a time for us. And then these go over your tailgate itself. Just what I just remembered, it's probably easiest to start with the tailgate. But then you just tighten it down, not, not all the way, so you still have wiggle room. Get out your tent poles for your prop rods. Just start letting it open itself up. All right, this is gonna be for the overhang or like the, the door area. You can tell the difference between the door and the actual prop rods for the main. This is for your door. This is for the actual main tent part. I'm gonna start feeding it through on this end. Okay. And then you just pull it out and then don't stick it into the, the catch. Okay. Yeah, just yet. Just through the one channel? Yeah. That way we can get the two crossing first. You wanna get and do the same thing. Keep in mind, it, with this part right here, if you have someone to help you, it'd be great, as always. Yeah, much easier. But it's doable by yourself, it's not too hard. Yeah. It's pretty easy to do. I mean, just a few minutes ago, I set up mine. So that's pretty much how it's gonna look when this, is, when this setup is done. Uh, we're still installing ours, so. Oh, one other tip too, so you can kind of help if you can't really decide or determine which Ones are for the main part of the tent and for the, the basically the awning part. The ones that are basically meant to cross for the main body of the tent, they will have this red sticker on the tent legs. This is just for this tent, as far as I know. I don't know about the Napiers or the other brands. Just uh, out of heads up, be being curious or courteous. I'm not a fan of the Napier one. I've heard too many bad things about them, and seeing how those ones are set up, way more difficult than this one. There's more, I think there's an extra prop rod for it, and what I got from it, the prop rods are actually too long for it. And then you just prop them up into it, yeah. All right, so pretty much what we just did right now is we popped it up, uh, by doing so, we just fed it inside this channel right here. So the pole is just gonna sit on that. Uh, there's one on each side, of course, and that's what pries up the tent. Yeah. So we're still not done, but we're almost there. All right, so it's not that tight as well. So you don't need to be scared to do this, believe me. Like I said, the price for this thing, if you're on a budget like I was, I don't have the money to spend for a rooftop tent right now. So this has been doing the job for me. So it's looking good so far. Let's go ahead and keep going. It's going to be for like that awning uh, part or pop up or hold up your door. Pretty much, I don't know the exact terminology. Feed that loop. And then these are going to feed into these little side channels right here. A little side pocket, you got it? So right here. No, it goes into the, oh, oh, into that. Just kidding. Yeah, let me take it. Well, it's still going to clip in there. Yeah, but I'd rather show it, right? Yeah, it's easier if you put it in that first. All right, so let's go ahead and feed these through. That was a little bit of a challenge. All right. You put those on. All right. So far. The whole tent's pretty much kind of droopy. In order to fix that, they have these ties on the inside. They're orange. These ones you do not clip to the outside of your truck. Move them around. And these Tacomas, they have this little uh, tie-down point or anchor point, orange strap, and then just prop it all the way down until you clip it in. And then you just pull these tight. Loosen it, anchor it down. After that, you pull this strap. So after everything, you just wanna go ahead and check your straps, make sure it's all tight and good. Another thing, guys, too. I have a Zippo, it's the windless one. Which makes this one a lot easier to set up is the rain fly. You got Literally, it? Literally, you just drape it over the top 
and you just clip it in. All Here. it has is these six clips. Oh yeah? Clips in super easy. Takes maybe like another 30 seconds to set that up. And boom. Now you have a full bed tent set up. Damn. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and go follow my friend's Instagram. It will be in the description box below. See you guys. You, we need someone who knows what they're talking about. Okay, that leaves me in last place. But <laughs> this video, fool. I have American flag underwear. I bet you. I'm Mexican. You're, you're the type Trump wants in his life. <laughs> Hey, record. I do. Yeah. Oh, there's a. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's all B roll. <laughs> <laughs>